Hello and welcome to iCreate Evo. This video will show you how to create a text shape hole in any object. If you are into 3D modeling, animation and visual effects then consider subscribing. Let's get into this. Cutting a hole into an object is not a straightforward operation. Good news is you have found my video. First thing I will do is create a simple object for this tutorial. No need to go crazy at first, as the process is the same regardless of the object complexity. First I will scale on the x-axis to give the object some depth. Press S and then X, to scale on the x-axis, left click to confirm. Now press S and then Z, this is to give the object some height. Move the mouse and then left click to confirm. Lastly I will change the width by pressing S then Y, to scale on the y-axis. This will give the object some more width. Now we'll add the text. Press Shift then A to bring up the Add menu. Then select the Text option. Select the text object from the Scene Collection menu to the top right. Now press R for Rotate, then X. Type in 90, then press Enter to confirm. Now press R for Rotate, then Z. Type minus 90, then press Enter to confirm. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. This will allow us to change the text. Click on the text then press delete until the text has gone. Type in your desired text, I'll enter our channel name, I create Evo. We can add depth to the text by selecting the text properties menu. Go to the geometry section and then change the depth by changing the size of the extrude property. Now I'll scale the object for this tutorial for a better visual result. Press S for scale, then move the mouse until your desired size then left click to confirm the change. I'll make some fine adjustments to get the desired look that I'm looking for. To move the text to a more suitable position press G for grab, then the axis letter, which is going to be X to move the text towards the intended object. Repeat the grab function using G for grab and then the axis letter. Now would be a good time to make an incremental save. This will allow us to come back and change the text if it is required, because the next stage is a permanent change. Go to the top menu and select file then select Save Incremental. You will see the name of your file at the top of the window, it will have a number 1 added. So you know you can go back to the original file and make any changes to the text. Now comes the destructive part, we convert the text object into a mesh object. Make sure the text object is selected, it will have an orange outline, if not click on the object or select it from the collection menu. Select the object menu, then go to Convert, then select Mesh. Now select the object that you want to cut the hole into. Go to the modifier properties and select add modifier. Click in the search bar and type bool. Select the boolean option. Click in the object section and select the text object. Nothing will appear to happen. Go to the scene collection and click on the eye icon located next to the text object. This will hide the object in the viewport allowing us to see the hole. You can move the text object so that it creates a blind hole instead of a through hole. This can be a good look for spaceship names or any other large vessels. Congrats you have successfully created a hole through an object, if you want to see how I made the light effect in the intro then stay tuned. If the text is displaying in rendered mode, then make sure you have clicked on the small camera icon in the scene collection menu next to the eye icon for the viewport option for your text object. If you find my content useful then please like, follow, share, and comment. Thanks for staying tuned. The first thing we need to change is the world illumination. Go to the shading workspace and make sure the rendered view is selected, then select world properties and then change the surface strength to zero. This will enhance the light animation. Now I'll start by adding color to the objects in the scene. First select the object in the viewport, then go to the material properties menu. If there are no materials, then click the add new material button. Click in the base color section, then select a color by left clicking while holding, then dragging the indicator to the color, let go of the mouse and move off the color selection to confirm. Repeat the process for all other objects in the scene. Select the camera icon in the upper right of the viewport window, then select the lock icon to lock the camera to your movement. Now pan around the scene with the camera to get a good view. Once happy with the view click the lock icon again to unlock the camera view. Now you can freely move around the viewport again. Now use G for grab to move the light into a good starting position. Once in a good position select the light properties and then lower the power setting, so it only lights one-ish letters. 
Now we're going to set up the animation. Enlarge the playback window by hovering over the edge of the lower window. When the two arrows appear, drag the window up until you have enough room. Let's make a 100 frame animation. First change the start frame to 100 and the end to 200. Drag the playhead to frame 100. Select the light and with the mouse cursor in the layout window press K for the insert keyframe menu, then select location. Now move the playhead to the end frame 200. Press G for grab then Y for the Y axis, move the light to the end of the text and no light is showing. Left click to confirm. Again press K for the insert keyframe menu and select location. Now it's a matter of tweaking the composition for your liking. If the text is displaying in rendered mode, then make sure you have clicked on the small camera icon in the scene collection menu next to the eye icon for the viewport option for your text object. This is the final render. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of my new content. Thank you for watching. See you soon.